Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Dari and we are finally getting back into B2B today. It's been so long. I'm super sorry you all had to wait this long for me to get back into their songs. It's been two really stressful months for me and I don't want to get further into that. I also hope all of you had an amazing Ungwang day. Um, I sadly won't be able to upload this on his day. I hope you enjoyed this live stream or whatever content. Um, yeah, I missed these boys so much, so I'm glad I can finally check out more of their songs. And I can't wait to see what we are gonna hear today. We are gonna check out the next album on my list, which is Remember That. Let's not waste any time and get straight into the first song, which is called Killing Me. I'm excited, let's go. Cool instrumental. <laughs> oh, the sounds. Yeah. Mm. Oh. No. Oh, I love that chorus and the way they got into it. Elon sounded so great just right before Chang Sub came in. But ah, oh, Chang Sub as well. Wow. Let me hear that again. Sanjay sounds so good as well. Oh, I'm just just now hearing the the strings in the background. Oh, sounds beautiful. Are those strings? I think so. Oh, sounds like so great. This is beautiful. Okay. Ooh, little Japanese. Jeez, they sound so, so dark. <laughs> Both Elun before the chorus earlier and and Pinil now. Oh. Oh, vibe change. Without you in my life, don't wanna live. I'd rather die. Every single day, they go bolt to my chest. Can't eat, can't sleep. Ooh. Yeah, I'm a huge mess. Always on my mind. Why'd you have to leave me? Why, why, why? No, no, I'm gonna be on a channel. So, I'm gonna sing a kind of gold. This time, I don't know. I didn't sing a kitchen game. I don't know. I'm gonna sing a kitchen game. No, the lyrics are pretty sad too. I love the ad libs. Some jazz on top right. I love this part. Sorry, Ugh, I'm ruining this whole song. This is so great. Oh, 
잡았던 그때 우리를 기억해 다시 나를 잡아줘 oh, 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 oh. 어, 리 엘렉트릭 기타. 아. 근데 보컬 좀더 백그라운드. 너무 멋다. 와우 wow. What an ending Great Oh, h y u n s i k did so well Wow This was a great first song for the album Gives me a sense of, of longing I don't know The lyrics are not the happiest Let's put it that way <laughs> But this was so beautiful We are already off to a really great start Favorite parts definitely Ilun and Changsup Ah, oh, Changsup in the chorus Killed it. h y u n s i k as well, though. That was great. u n g w a n g didn't really have that many lines, but his parts are really good as well. And oh, I love p i n i a s rough part. <laughs> Very well done. All right, let's get to the next song, which is another Korean title. So I've seen it translated as Color Your Days, but Wikipedia says drawing or the picture I drew. Um, so I don't know which is the correct title. Okay, the lyric video I chose even has both titles on it as well. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Whoa. That is a heavy beat. Okay, not the direction I thought this was gonna go. Mm. Continuing with the softer lyrics. I love the lyrics. Ooh. Ooh. I really like the prompts in the background. Sorry for pausing. Their harmonies in the song are so beautiful. Ah, and the lyrics hit so hard. Jesus. Um, I can definitely relate 100%. Uh, oh, I love the passive aggressiveness behind his voice. Mm. Oh, 
I love the painting metaphor. Body goosebumps. Oh, this was absolute perfection. Oh, what an amazing song, both just from the music as well as just the lyrics and the meaning behind it. And like I said, I loved the metaphor of, of a painting, of you going your own way in your life and, and painting your own picture. I love that. This is such a beautiful, beautiful song. The vocal line was so amazing with all their harmonies and their and Umbuang uh, Umbuang is part oof, with his with his high ad lib, Jesus. Um, and the rappers kind of had a very confident, almost passive aggressive tone to to them, talking about all the hard things we go through and even if life is hard and you don't know where you where you are going in life or where you where you want to be. Um, you have to keep on going, do it your own way, and just, yeah, take your time with it. I think, I think Peniel was the one talking about yesterday is history and tomorrow you have another chance to, to grow and go further with your life. And no matter how often you fall, you have to get back up and you can get back up. Ah, oh, I love that. That, mm, this album is already so great. Both of these songs so amazing <sighs> all right the next song of this album is probably the title track remember that um and we have a music video for this sadly i couldn't find a version with subtitles that's really sad but i'm still excited to check this out all right minyuk already looks super cute in the thumbnail <laughs> let's check this out oh Shut up! Oh. Those are some great visuals. again <laughs>
Sounds so cool. Switch to the, the color. Mm, going back in memory. That was abrupt. <laughs> Wish I had subtitles. Oh, I understood that. <laughs> oh, it's them going on in the background. I love it. Back to the guitar. Cute. Oh, I enjoyed that. Wow. Uh, Chang So really stood out for me in that song. He sounded so good. Let me quickly check the lyrics for this. <laughs> Yeah, so basically it's pretty much just a song about missing someone and thinking back to them and um, yeah, beautiful, very beautiful. Okay, next song is called Anymore. Let's get into this. Whoa. Another more freaky, funky song of them. After all these ballads on this album so far. Ooh, the sin. Up is so great on this album. Mm. Oh, 
so much fun. I love just any more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how accurate that translation was. <laughs> I love this part. Drinking, cheating, partying, not a bed anymore. Watch back, hell no. Uh, I'm better off without you. Now I get to start all over fresh and new. Now I'm free, look at me. Can't you see how I be? I am without you. Love This is fun. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I love that. Definitely the most fun song of this album. All of the previous ones were more ballads or just more softer songs with more emotional lyrics. But this was just a fun breakup song. Ugh, I love that. I adored Phineas' part, but just the ah uh, yeah the na 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 that that got me. <laughs> it was so cool. I love that. All right, let's get to the next song, which is called "So Pretty." Let's see in which direction we're gonna go with this one. Ooh. Okay. Instrument reminds me of a lot of older songs. <laughs> Interesting. Sorry, Sanjay, let me go back. That was so cute. Oh, I love that. Mm. 
Like me, you can do song. song i really like minyok in this i think his parts definitely were my favorites um minyok was so adorable oh, he sounded so soft and small <laughs> i can't uh the rest of them did really well as as well <laughs> i feel like i don't talk much about hyunsik but i just thought especially during the song that even if he's not doing any super outstanding parts i mean he can do those definitely we've heard him do crazy high notes as well and just stand out on his own way but even when he's not doing any of that i feel like he is such a stable and, and important part of the group whether it's doing his own parts or um doing ad libs he's always so so stable and like um i don't know how to describe this he kind of feels like a pillar or a tree trunk i don't know if that makes sense but who assists everyone and who everyone can rely on, who is super important on himself, but also just makes sure that the others shine in their parts. I don't know if this makes any sense or if I'm just rambling nonsense, but that, I don't know. That was kind of what was going on in my head during the song. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue why. Ignore me. I'm just talking trash right now. <laughs> this was a really cool song, though. Um, I think so far, probably my least favorite, though. But so really cool. Yeah, let's get to the next song, which is called Just Like You, or because like you, I'm not really sure. <laughs> we will see, maybe. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Ooh. Ooh, going back into the emotional part. No. Oh. Yeah, very soft and calm. Oh, 
Oh, I love when they put Minyuk and Elun together. Instrumental. Ooh. Love is low. I still feel like he's getting better and better with each album. Good job. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Interesting. Nice. I enjoyed that. They all sounded so soft and beautiful. Like I said, I feel like you can see or hear that Peniel is getting better and better with each album. I don't know. Maybe it's just a feeling or because I know where he is today. But um, ah, I love seeing his his growth through these albums. But ah, the rest of them. Ungwang and his damn kingly vocals. I can't. He is so good. But I also love Minyuk and Ilun going straight after each other. Sanjay in the in the chorus was really good. And again, I, I somehow I think I love the combination of Hyunsik and Changso. I don't know why, but I think they sound great together or after each other. They they fit together very well. Alright, we are already at the last song of this album. This is called By Your Side. Or empty space. I don't know, like I said, different translations. I don't know, who knows? Maybe you know. <laughs> yeah, let's get into this. You gotta be my love. Whoa. Gotta be my love. That's right. That's gotta right. be my love. Okay, I'm glad we're getting a little bit more upbeat. <laughs> this feels like another end of concert song. <laughs> I love me you can feel it at the I love them together. Oh. <laughs> Definitely my favorite part. <laughs> Oh. 
Willem stands right. That was a really nice ending. Yes, I'm glad they ended it with something a little bit more upbeat. Um, that was so sweet, so cute. I love all the different ad libs, like Mini and Pinyel going together, or Ilun with his little throw-ins. Um, super adorable, super cute. Yeah, I like that a lot. What a great album again. Honestly. Some really beautiful soft ballads in this, but also some really fun upbeat songs. I love it. I'm not really sure which one would be my favorite song. Probably Killing Me or Color Your Days. But Anymore was also really fun. Remember that was super beautiful. I liked By Your Side as, as an ending. And So Pretty and Just Like You I would probably put under the rest of the songs, but they were still really good. I definitely enjoyed them all a lot. In terms of ranking, I think I skipped over the ranking in the last album because I read it my whole tier list. Things just weren't really fitting anymore and I don't know, I just kind of threw them all into one place and there wasn't any system behind my ratings anymore so I decided to change some things, um, change the system on how I want to rate these albums. Because it's so hard to compare albums, full albums with so many songs to albums with five to seven songs. Of course, as if an album has more 12, 13, 14 songs, of course the chance of there being songs that I don't like is higher than with a smaller, shorter album. So what I'm doing from now on is take all the songs that are on the album and then calculate the percentage of songs I liked or didn't like. So, so for example, if I like 100% of the album, if there isn't one song that I don't like, then it's an S tier album. Anything below 50% would be the D category. I'm still kind of doing it out of my gut feeling um, what fits and what fits not, but at least it's a little bit more structured. The problem with this rating is that an album might rank lower even though there are songs on that album that I really enjoy and enjoy maybe even more than songs on an album that is ranked higher. But um, this is just going to be about the whole albums and maybe we can do a full B2B song rating or just title track rating in the future, but that's how I want to do it for now. So in the C category with 50 to 65 percent, as of right now, we have Move, The Winter's Tale and Press Play. In the B rating with 65 to 70%, we have the Born to Beat album and Thriller. 70 to 90% A tier, we have, I mean, Beep Beep and Complete. And on S tier, 100% Unbeat, as of now, still outside, Be Together and Minyux Boom. Yeah, again, don't take any of this personally, it's just my own opinion. Just based off my first listen so far, this album would rank into the A category, but only time will tell how much I really like the songs. So yeah, I'm gonna get gonna give you all an update on that in the next album video or the one after that. But for now, it's gonna be in A. Loved it. All right, we do have just some few live performances for this video. The first one being Remember That on M Countdown. Love their outfits. Let's check it out. Oh. 
Schatz. Schatz. Wait, let me. It is no true B2B lie stick, but, but it will do for this. I will hate myself for this in color grading. <laughs> So precious. Yeah. Melody singing along. I can't. Wait, I want to hear this again. This was so beautiful. Oh, getting emotional. I miss reacting to them so much. Sounds so beautiful in the chorus. Me emotional all of a sudden. Dang. Oh man, I, oh. I've said that so many times before, but I want to see them live so badly. This was uh, so good. All right. Um, the other live performance that I wanted to check out is so pretty. Let's go. 
He looks so cute. Choreo for this. He looks so good in blonde and white. <laughs> Ooh, the backup dancer. Killing it. Also, Hyunsik in a dress shirt. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good in this outfit. Sorry for simping, but why is Hyun Sik so sexy in this performance? <laughs> I don't even care. Okay, I'm not not caring about Min Young fans. <laughs> uh, he looks great too, but he always does. I love that. Well, very cool. <sighs> okay, this was a lot of fun. I do have one single video left. I just found it while looking up the songs. And the video is called When Zhang Jae Forgot About B2B Song Anymore. So it's just a short clip from a, from a V-Live. And I wanted to check it out. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that was just a short little clip that I wanted to check out. Really, really adorable. But yeah, let me quickly check because they mentioned it. 
Okay, so Killing Me was done by Hyunsik. Amazing. I love that song so much. Definitely one of my favorites. Great job. Well done by him. Um, he also wrote Anymore. Ilun did the last one. What was it? Empty Space or, or By Your Side, whatever it's called. And he also wrote on, on So Pretty. Cool. Love that. So, that was really cool. I enjoyed this album a lot. What do you think about this album? What's your favorite song? What might be your least favorite? Where would you rank it in on a tier list from S to D? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. I always love to read them and discuss things with you. And yeah, other than that, I hope you're all doing good. Hopefully we will see each other in one of my next videos. Yeah, until then, stay safe. Have a great time. See you soon. Bye.